Hi, I'm Ryan O'Mara, and this is Course Crash Phillips Andover. Today, we are discussing medieval literature, an English elective. Now, what do you think when you hear medieval literature? Bringing about knights in shining armor, fire-breathing dragons, and epic battles would be a common guess. And to some extent, that is true. We do get a retail with knights, dragons, and some pretty nifty battles. But medieval literature is so much more than that. For example, let's look at The Knight with the Lion, a story in this book right here. It's a medieval romance in the first book you would read in the class. Knights in shining armor? Check. The protagonist, Yvain, is a knight with some shiny armor, and, if you couldn't guess from the title, a lion. Fire-breathing dragons? Got that too. Epic battles? The story has plenty of those. The best part is that that is just the surface of the book. The Knight with the Lion tells the tale of a knight whose pursuit of glory creates, then destroys his relationship with his spouse. From avenging his cousin's shame, to meeting his spouse, to losing his spouse's love from negligence, to becoming an animal in the woods, to being saved, to meeting the lion, to a long journey of trying to win his spouse back. You get to see Yvain as he goes through this interesting and emotional adventure, discussing important themes like morality, discussing the morality of Yvain's actions, like neglecting his wife, or treatment, the treatment and opinion of women. There's a lot of examples of this, like the tons of enslaved women at Dire Adventures, a place in the story. There are many strong discussions on what it means to be moral is a pretty good thing to know. Now, if you're thinking that only the start of medieval, medieval literature is like that, think again. There are so many medieval romances, all of them allowing for great discussion on themes like this, and completely new ones. Look at Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, where the protagonist Gawain struggles with the morality of choosing to save his own life over glory. You can once again have the opportunity to talk about many themes, once again, including morality, since, you know, I did just mention that's what the story's about. Besides, who wouldn't want to read a story that has a guy who can still walk around and talk after getting his head chopped off? Just to make sure you understand how great this class is, let's talk about one more of the many wonderful medieval romances, Salons. This story starts off with two people, both in love with the other but afraid to say it. Now, if you're scared to ask out your crush too, the start of it will be great for you. Sorry for that one, guys. Anyways, afterwards, you get to read about Solange, a born girl raised to be a man. With themes like morality coming back into this book too, you get to see Solange struggling with his or her identity. It's a pronoun switch around a bit, since it's a pretty important part of the book. So, as Solange tries to grapple this immorality of lying about his gender, hiding it from everyone, even though Solange starts to enjoy being a man, since you know there are some pretty misogynistic principles in the story, like how women cannot own land, which leads to the whole dilemma of Salon's feeling the need to lie about his gender. So for many years of doing this, Salon's becomes beloved to the kingdom, and after Salon's the secret gets out, you gotta see how um, far good deeds can go. That's all we have time for for today. There are so many amazing medieval romances I didn't get a chance to talk about today, like the other ones in this book, and so that just there's a race I'm writing here that you can read. I also didn't get to talk about many of the themes. So when you're reading the book, you can try and think of other themes. And because I know after reading these romances, you'll want to talk about them. You should take medieval literature, the English elective at Phillips Andover, so you can talk about them with other people. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Ryan O'Mara signing out, and I will see you all in the next one.